You're very welcome to Beals in the Cottage here in the west of Ireland. My name is Claire O'Neill. I'm a writer, environmentalist and, more importantly, a tree planter. I started the Bealtaine project in 2004. Um, it's been 19 years in the making. Next year will be my 20th anniversary here and I will be 68 this year. So you can imagine what a chunk of my life this has taken and it has been a wonderful journey. Tree planting, getting close to Mother Earth, living a simple life is all that I really embrace and enjoy and I'm very very happy to share it with you. All the links to um, my website and Facebook and Twitter etc are underneath each and every video and I don't allow advertising on my videos because I don't want anything to corrupt what it is I'm sharing with you. You're very welcome. Okay, hot potatoes on top of salad. So it does wilt a little, but it makes it even tastier. It just brings out all the beautiful flavours. So I'm going to dish that up now in a nice bowl. And I'll show you in a tick. Here we go. Let me just go through the salad again, because I think I left out parsley. So, two different kinds of lettuce leaves, all homegrown. Fennel, that's just the leaves, chopped up. Chives flowers, chives, spring onions, mint, lemon balm. Yeah, I think that's it. And as the summer progresses, there'll be more and more complex salads. Obviously, the more you put into the salad, the tastier it's going to be. And I always have a herb salad. So it's very much lettuce based, but with lots and lots of herbs. Doesn't this look yummy? Very low in calories, virtually no cholesterol, lots of vitamin C, lots of vitamin D, lots of vitamin, 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 and just jolly good for you. Not to mention really tasty. And I've got a heap left in here, so I can keep coming back to it. So I hear you asking, how did you do the potatoes? Well, this is my air fryer here. You just pop it back. Okay. So, I took two organic potatoes and I chopped them up into cubes and I put them into the bowl and seasoned them. Now, I didn't use any oil at all. I seasoned them with Cajun seasoning, with chilli and garlic salt, with chilli powder and some smoked paprika. Now, of course, you can use whatever seasonings you like. And then I sort of coated them because they're fairly wet, you know, when you cut potatoes, so they coat quite easily. Pop them into the air fryer then for about 15 minutes and uh, voila. So... That's the bit I left out. So there we go. And I've got to say, they are yummy. And because you don't use oil, they are healthy and low cholesterol and good for you. And if you want to lose some weight, which is what I'm trying to do, because as you know, I put on a fair bit of weight through grieving for a very long time over Jack. And I've got weight to lose. And it's about health. But you know, to be honest, it's a little bit about vanity too. Because I have so many lovely clothes, which I don't fit into at the moment. So I've got to be honest about that and say, look, I'd just like to fit back into my clothes. I love clothes, which is why I sew and I knit and I crochet and collect vintage clothes. Always in charity shops, by the way. So, that's my excuse. <laughs> and this is why I don't do cooking videos. Because... <laughs> um, because... Because... I leave things out. <laughs> the salad. What did I dress it with? 
wildwood, hibiscus and elderflower balsamic vinegar. Absolutely delicious. This is the only thing that's actually costing any money. This is quite expensive to buy, but because I don't eat meat and dairy and all that palava, I can afford to buy a really good, tasty balsamic vinegar. Yeah, of course, you can make your own as well quite easily. Not so much the balsamic vinegar, but, you know, your own dressing. And I'm sure you'll all leave lots and lots of really healthy recipes for dressing underneath the video. Please do. Love to eat them. I know sometimes I get oranges and stuff like that, you know, like squeeze in orange juice, maybe a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, keep going with it until I've got something really tasty. But, you know, as I've said in the previous clip, I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm keeping it as um, <clears throat> low in calories as possible. Now, just as a little addendum, because I know you're all interested in my knitting, I'm going to show you what's happened so far. So let me just see. OK, so I decided that one jumper wasn't enough. I was going to use up some wool. So as you know, I started with this one and the lovely pattern and the lovely wool. So that is the back of one of the jumpers. So I changed the pattern a little bit made the bottom a bit simpler and I've done the back of jumper number two. This was wool I've had hanging about for a very long time. So it's about time I used it. So there are the two backs. So this is all rolled up. You know how it works. So I finished the front, well, part of the front of the orange jumper. I've got the neck to do. I'll just show you quickly what the neck looks like. There we go. There's the pattern, by the way, which I have shown before. That's the neck. And you can see how it's all working out. When I bought this wool, um, it was very expensive and, and I hemmed and hard. And in the end, actually, there wasn't enough wool on sale to knit the whole jumper. So I got some more and I got it in this colour here. So I'm doing the sleeves in this. just a nice color and the reason why let me just show yeah because I I loaned my my daughter one of my daughters a bag and I asked to get it back today so I'll just show you this bag which is the reason why I chose this particular color look see so I should be sort of color coordinated to a certain extent that's a crossbody bag, which is really handy. So that's it. That's a little update on my knitting. One of the things I like to do in the evening, because I can't just sit down and relax. I've always got to be doing something. So I knit. Um, I'm going to be doing some sewing as well in the coming weeks, because I've got material lying around. And I fancy making myself a nice pair of really baggy cotton, printed cotton or linen dungarees. So, yeah, because, you know, they cover a multitude of sins, don't you? <laughs> Blessings to you all. Beautiful evening. I'm going to have some more of my dinner now because I've had that bowl of salad that's absolutely gorgeous with the potatoes. Really, really lovely. Oh, and before any of you ask, but Colette, you don't eat meat. You don't eat dairy. Where do you get your energy from? <laughs> exactly. I don't have stuff in my body that takes three days to process. Meat takes your body three days to process. My diet is all processed in 24 hours. And yes, I have a good amount of energy. So it's got to be down to diet, isn't it? So blessings to you all. Look at the lovely roses out there. Look at that. Mm. I've written a series of books all about my journey here at Bealtaine Cottage. This is a little one, The Bealtaine Cottage Guide to the Deep Midwinter. Walking Between Worlds. In Search of the Goddess Rising. 
and a cottage and three acres. All my books are printed here in Ireland at my local printers in Carrick and Shannon. I don't use any aspect of um, corporate internet book selling. And uh, all my books then are posted from my local post office. So thank you for supporting Beelt in the Cottage. You'll find the link to my bookshop under this video and every other video. Blessings to you all.